everyone, welcome to this video. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to try a new foundation that I bought and it's this Babor, I think, Deluxe Foundation. Comes in like in this packaging. It's a beautiful, it's black and rose gold too. I love rose gold. And this is how the foundation looks. Here's the pump. Beautiful packaging. A rich, creamy foundation with a fold anti-aging effect for a long-lasting, perfect-looking complexion. Now this, it sounds wonderful. It has a good ingredients. I will put all the information down below so you can check it out if you want to. Now the only, the one problem that I had when I was ordering this is which color should I order? Because they had four different only four different colors and you know that I always prefer my foundation a little bit darker than my skin and uh, well I bought number two because number one I when I saw on their website I thought it was maybe it would be maybe too light for my skin but this number two it's called natural and it's a little bit too dark I think for my skin it's creamy it's a thick foundation but if you can see, it is a little bit too dark for my skin tone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to use this makeup store Naturalizing Purple that sometimes make my foundation lighter. Lighter now. Why I use this and not something else? Because I don't want I want to get the full review of how I feel about this foundation. But this is too dark. When I saw the swatches on their website, I think they had this video uh, this number two didn't look this dark so I don't know I think this will work for me in the summer but right now I'm too pale but so I will use my new beauty blender and uh, try to put that on my face so we'll see how it smells very nice and it's it feels a little bit thick good coverage what I'm going to do now is to put some uh, moisturize, moisturizer and uh, primer. Where is it? And I will use the one that I do not like the smell of. I just I will use this in transit camera close up. I did use this in other videos, and I do like how it how it works, but I hate the smell. But I don't want to throw it away. And it's a good primer and moisturizer too. Mask, moisturizer, and primer in one. It smells. Oh my god, the smell is bad. And uh, now I have my primer on, and let's take some of this makeup store moisturizer. And it's purple. I love this one. It is a little bit expensive, I think. I don't know if I paid twenty-two dollars. And a little bit of this foundation. I will not put a lot of it because I know. I think it's a little bit lighter, but not too much. But we'll see how it is on my face. And if I like it, I will all order number one. A little bit dark, but we'll see. I love trying new foundations. That's and my mascaras and I'm obsessed with eyeshadow palettes but well I don't make it the perfect match but oh my god it's not full coverage but it looks as I don't have any foundation on at all this is a second skin foundation I 
I don't know if you can see in camera but this looks like I don't have any foundation at all and my skin looks more even it's not full coverage but because you can still see my breakouts but I will definitely reach for this one let me just mix more of the foundation and take the second layer I don't know if it's this neutralizer that makes it a little bit thinner because it looks like full coverage when I swatched it on my hand but I will definitely order number one and see how that one looks and maybe mix these two together maybe I get full coverage with one pump of the foundation because right now I think I used a little bit too much foundation for this price because it wasn't cheap well this one is a little bit lighter God, guys it looks beautiful what right now the Estee Lauder double wear I think it's called foundation is one of my favorite foundations but this one looks gives me the finish similar to that foundation now definitely got more coverage and it feels like I have foundation on my skin right now because I took a lot of the product but it's, it feels still a lot light the coverage is buildable I hope you can see guys but this looks amazing I am shiny, but we'll see how it is when I put my powder on, but look how even this is. Now it's still not full coverage, but right now I don't care because it looks so nice on my skin. I really like this foundation. I will definitely order number one, the lighter one, and see to see how that shade works on my skin and if that one is too light I can mix these two together because I really like this foundation right now but before I order number one I have to see how it wears during and how it works during the day because I don't want to order expensive foundation and then after two three four hours it's patchy and looks awful but I have never tried anything from this brand but right now I'm loving it. I'm really loving it. Uh, and I ordered this from a Swedish website, 11.sc. I will put the link down below. It's called HID Foundation and it costs... And it has four colors. Uh, number uh, one, it's a, uh, ivory. Number two, it's the one that I have natural. Number three, almond. And number four, it's sunny. And uh, number three looks darker, much darker than the number two, so that one it's not going to work. Maybe number one, this is number one. Uh, it cost 500, 585 Swedish crowns and that is 66.59 dollars. So for 66 dollars it has to be a good foundation but I really like it. It is a little bit sticky right now so I will put my um, concealer on and powder
let me show you how it looks bef after putting uh, my powder on. It looks nice. I can see some redness here and here I don't know what that is but it looks nice it looks almost even so now my makeup look is finished I filmed two other videos one when I apply this makeup uh, eyeshadows and one when I apply this uh, lipstick that I tried for the first time so you're going to see those videos I don't know which one of these is going to be first up on my channel but if you subscribe you're going to see them if you're not don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss those um, I really like the foundation my make makeup and the bronzer and the blush and everything else went smoothly on doesn't feel heavy it's not sticky right now I do like look a little bit shiny but I like how it looks doesn't look wet too wet I'm going to just spray some of this fix plus I feel fresh right now and uh, I think the this shade looks okay on me mixing that naturalizer purple with this foundation where is it I lost it no I didn't here it is mixing mixing these two together I do like it looks very nice on me it looks almost like my skin so this is maybe something that I would call second skin foundation I don't know uh, I do do really like it and uh, let's zoom in so you see maybe closer how it looks now it did took me almost two hours to do my makeup and everything else and now I had uh, to do some other thing between but so I had this foundation for at least two hours and it looks very nice didn't move didn't fade it looks very very beautiful also on my forehead, didn't set into my fine lines. 12.45 right now. So, we will check in. So, welcome ba back. Now I've been having this foundation for a little bit more than 10 hours and I'm ready to take it off and I do like this foundation a lot really it doesn't look patchy at all anywhere it does look shiny though very shiny really oily but the foundation is still on my face and I haven't been using that my best primer so it does look good it stays on the place doesn't move around when my face gets oily and I'm very impressed with this 007 uh, eyeshadow primer I have to say really kept my eyeshadow okay on my eyelids so I won't complain now take away a little bit of this um, oiliness from my face transfers a little bit of the foundation but it doesn't look patchy I've got some lipstick here <laughs> this. But really it looks good I do like this foundation I'm definitely going to use it it is an expensive one but it works for combinated skin let's try to apply some powder and this is one that I always carry with me it's Revlon Colorstay we're using it a lot And it looks nice after setting it with some powder. It looks nice. So I do like it. Definitely. A foundation that I'm going to grab for. Now I can see just on the tip of my nose that my foundation is gone. But I think because I was, my nose was itching and I was like touching all the time. So maybe that's the reason. But the rest of my face looks good. It's not full coverage. It's really not. You can see, still see my red uh, spots, but I do like it. I do like it. Definitely a thumbs up for this foundation. 
So thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!